Well, good afternoon. It's Sadil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session Wednesday, 22nd of February 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from uh, uh, from leading providers. You can download the uh, app at the w, uh, www.tradesignal.com or Google Play or the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of figures, Asian markets overnight mixed. You had the uh, Chinese market certainly stellar. Hang Seng up almost a percentage point. Shanghai up 0.2. Nikkei certainly flat. Okay, not certainly not um, not moving higher at all. U.S. equities continue their ramp higher, with the S&P touching the 23.65 level, and the Nasdaq certainly continuing on to the 53.50 zone, and potentially higher with the semiconductors pushing to new highs. Okay, so the holiday, um, obviously post-holiday blues certainly over. Uh, yet U.S. equities still are managing to uh, continue the the move higher now. In terms of economic data or fundamentals, let's just go over them. Uh, first and foremost, uh, you had German IFO data, German data coming in stronger, certainly beating on all fronts there. Uh, UK GDP data year on year missing at two percent, uh, quarter on quarter actually beating at 0.7. But the concerns were the business investment number came in at minus one percent. And you had the uh, imports that were down as well. Although exports certainly beating and index services certainly beating as well. So a mixed set of data there, okay. But uh, sterling certainly seems to be have uh, seems to understand it and interpret it as being bearish, okay. In terms of uh, the uh, European Union, uh, consumer CPI came in uh, more or less in line, okay. Um, nothing really of any importance there in terms of the euro. I mean, euro so at present is currently around the 1.05 level. Certainly remains weak, pushed lower due to Le Pen concerns. If I just bring up the euro here, okay, so certainly pushed lower due to Le Pen concerns. As you can see, it's a one way trade at present, uh, certainly flushing to new to, to new lows. Daily chart at the moment, there was a chance or a possibility of an inverted head and shoulders formation. Uh, again, let's just keep an eye out, let's keep a Let's just keep an open mind for now, but we are now coming into potential support for the euro, so just bear that in mind. Stronger data, stronger inflation data, obviously talk of tapering potentially as well, all indicates a weaker uh, euro USD moving higher from my uh, perspective. So just bear that in mind, although a weaker euro is helping European equities, so if the euro starts to move higher, it will certainly start to hurt European equities. So let's factor that into the uh, potential trading equation as well, okay? Uh, in terms of other news, uh, in terms of other news, let's just quickly go over this. You had uh, uh, Mr. Cunliffe soon. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what he has to say after Mr. Carney yesterday was certainly on the hawkish side, which sent sterling higher. U.S. application, mortgage applications coming in slightly better than expected. Looking forward to Canadian retail sales, Red Book, uh, Chinese data as well, and existing home sales. And we have FOMC Powell and uh, the minutes and the API crude data as well on, on tap. Okay, now in terms of technicals, let's just quickly go over to the German DAX. German DAX flushing, uh, pushing higher, obviously holding gap filled thus far. Daily chart certainly pushing higher, though, although it is registering a doji at the moment, just bear that in mind. A weekly chart, realistically, I mean, the next level is uh, 12,070, and then obviously you've got 12,400. Uh, when do we stop? That's the question, okay? Daily chart is showing some weakness, though. That doji candle certainly doesn't look very bullish, so just bear that in mind. Topping tail on the 60 minute chart as well. 10 minute chart, obviously, we've flushed ever since we pushed higher, so the gap certainly has closed. No gap and go, it's gap and fade, okay? So just bear that in mind. In terms of the French CAC, it remains weak uh, from my perspective. We certainly held that Fib 4 75% resistance. Okay, potential double top scenario here now. From my perspective, this certainly remains a short and any potential, uh, potential move higher. Any retracement certainly will be a shorting opportunity. Okay, in terms of the 10-minute chart, let's just go to the 10-minute chart. Certainly, um, gap higher than fade. Okay, fade actually below the actual gap as well. Just bear that in mind. So showing even more weakness compared to the German DAX from my perspective. So any push higher from here now. Certainly, you've got the left shoulder is in, uh, head is in. Any pop from here now will be a shorting opportunity. So I'll certainly be looking to potentially uh, short this now. So any pop here into that uh, 4900 zone, 4910 more than happy to short the French CAC, okay? That's my trade setup already done for the day, okay? So watching out for double top, certainly holding, but topping tail on the daily chart, 
everything indicating lower there on the French CAC. Okay. In terms of FTSE 100, we certainly seems to be um, oscillating between that 7275 and 7300. Daily chart topping tail as well, certainly isn't a positive sign. Again, business investment certainly weaker and uh, ex import certainly weaker as well. Doesn't bode well for the Eurozone. Bear that in mind. Okay. Let's just quickly draw this diagonal trend line here. Okay. So certainly being respected. Uh, lower lows. Okay. And lower highs. Well, lower high really. Okay. So this is just one big bear flag. Okay. Bear flag and smack lower. So FTSE, so from my perspective, certainly remains bearish and is indicated low. Okay. Uh, but again, the markets will dictate if US markets certainly push new highs, then the FTSE will follow. So it's all about US equities. And given the fact that the S&P has gone on a 47 or 48 or 50 day run now without a 1% pullback, that certainly isn't healthy at all. I mean, when the sell off comes, it's going to come very hard. Everybody will be jumping ship. OK, so for now, let's just keep observing. OK, 7290, 7300 key resistance on the FTSE 100. OK, OK, so I think that's a good summation just to uh, finish off the euro stocks. Uh, euro stocks certainly uh, daily chart at the moment holding that double top. Let's just see how it uh, certainly plays out. Uh, certainly a topping tail there. I mean, we certainly had a spike up to uh, 3360 almost. Okay. Uh, now looking at 10 minute chart, certainly flushing quite hard. Okay. So again, any retrace from my or retrace from my perspective certainly is a showing opportunity on the on the euro stocks now, given the fact the daily chart certainly remains weak. Uh, there is already a potential mini HNS in play already. You've got the he head up here, your right shoulder, and then obviously flush. So any retest into the 3340, 3350, again, this will be a showing opportunity for me. Okay. And then looking to flush back down to the 3315 level. Okay. So I think that's a good summation. Again, uh, watch out for FOMC minutes. It's going to get volatile. Let's see how the market plays out. On that note, be sure to visit CFDs.com for your training needs, and we'll certainly. Uh, and take advantage of that bonus. Goodbye now.